Since I started doing DIYs, I've always come across pins on Pinterest about mason jars, so I finally decided to do a project. I did a few with the springtime feel, so let's get started. I hope you like them. For the project, you're going to need some mason jars, some fabric, stencils if you want to get a little fancy, different kinds of sponge brushes, Pencil, ruler, and scissors. Paint brushes are optional. A paint palette. White acrylic paint. Colored Mod Podge. Yes, they have colored now. Puffy paint. And some ribbon. First, measure and cut a 12 by 12 inch square or bigger of fabric. Then make sure it fits the way you want around the jar. I used a stencil, some white paint, and a round sponge brush. Lay the stencil on the fabric in a corner and hold it down and start sponging on the paint. Just be sure to put something under the fabric in case the paint seeps through the fabric. Once you're done with the first square, peel it up and set it back down next to where you just did the last stencil. Repeat that until the entire square of fabric is painted, then set it aside to dry. Once it's dry, you can now cover the mason jar, measure the ribbon, and gather the fabric around the jar. After the fabric is in place, tie the ribbon around the neck of the jar and tie in a bow. Then you can add some flowers and you're done. For the next jar, I did the same thing, measured and cut a 12 by 12 inch square fabric. I used white paint and a bigger sized round sponge brush, only this time I didn't use a stencil. I just made an alternating polka dot pattern. Once you're done, set it aside to dry. Once it's dry, gather the fabric around the jar like the last one and tie a ribbon around the neck of the jar. Add some more flowers and you're done. Now on to the next. Take a mason jar and put some white paint inside. Use a regular sponge brush to move the paint around to cover the inside of the jar. If you put the paint on a little thick, turn it upside down and let the paint drip out of it. My suggestion would be to use two thin coats. If your jar is upside down, you can squeeze out some of the colored Mod Podge and use it to paint the outside of the jar any way you like. I did stripes, it kind of reminds me of an Easter egg. And this is two coats. Then after the outside is dry, you can decorate it however you like. I used purple puffy paint and wrote out springtime. For the last jar, I actually used yellow Mod Podge and put two thin coats inside the jar. I let the Mod Podge dry in between layers. 
I was following the instructions on this, and it said to pour it into the jar and let the Mod Podge coat the inside of the jar. It actually didn't work out that well for me, so I ended up taking most of the Mod Podge out of the jar and back into the bottle, and just putting two thin coats. This looked much better in my opinion, and it dried much quicker. This is what it looks like with just one layer. I wanted it a little more opaque, that's why I added a second layer. While the inside was drying, I used a light blue puffy paint on the smallest size round brush that I had and made a polka dot pattern on the jar. I also added flameless candles to these last two jars. And you're done! Thanks so much for watching my newest video. If you liked it, let me know and hit the like button. And if you liked it that much, subscribe to my channel to see my next video. I'll be announcing the winner of the giveaway soon. Good luck to everyone that entered. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The links are down below. See you again soon. Bye!